Hey everyone, I'm here. I just hopped on and my two-year-old just decided to uh, wake up. Um, let me go get him settled and I will be right back, I promise. Hey everyone. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. I wasn't planning on being very long, um, but I, pro I I apologize if you bust through there. Um, you know, like last night, everybody, it has now been confirmed that the remains found Thursday were that of Joshua Bohannon. Um, you know, and in a few few days before that that friday there was i posted an article about them finding them and i was actually on the phone with um vicky vicky had done a, an interview just recently with us and you know we were literally just talking about you know how there's nothing out there yet not even and we she she looked it up and that's when we found that so she screenshotted it and showed me and i you know i hopped off and i posted it um, so, you know, it was kind of the waiting game. And as we all know now, last night, it was confirmed that it was indeed, um, Joshua and my heart just completely breaks for everybody surrounding this. You, you know, you guys have been very vocal in, in the search for Josh and, you know, right now we are, we are waiting the autopsy reports before they, you know, determine what phase and where to go next. And I just ask everybody that it just appreciates that, you know, I know from talking with them, my own self, that um, they knew Joshua so well that they couldn't imagine that he would be out there and um, be okay. But that doesn't make that, that finding that news and confirmed any any easier and I'm sure that they are very much in that stage of just be, it being surreal still so um I think that right now while we are waiting those results just you know just let them have that time and um just continue to support them in wherever this goes next so um we don't, you know, I, I posted some videos on the page. That is just me. You know, I'm, I'm here in Ohio. Um, that's just me posting about the general area, just giving everybody a, a look that, that may not know. And that's all, you know, I, we, it hasn't been publicly out there that I've seen. I've been paying close attention. I wanted to come on last night, but my stream yard was messing up. And I'm kind of glad, you know, I, I was supposed to have a family and that really, really, um, uh, sucked, but we, it was just as simple as signing out and signing back in and here I am. So I'm hoping that she will be on. Um, but I, as far as Josh, I'm glad that I didn't rush, get to rush on last night. Cause then I got to kind of see some of the things that were, were in the aftermath after that happened. 
Um, you know, I've done, like I said, I've done an interview with, with Vicki, um, and you guys can go watch it for yourselves, but you know, and I'm not saying anything bad about Putnam County, um, sheriff's down there, but I think it could be safely said that, is, you know, White County is very, should be, you know, very widely commended for, for their efforts. Um, I have also seen the, the posts that, and I want to clear up, you know, again, just push out what I, what I see the family is, is saying. Um, Josh's wife was not the one that immediate, she wasn't the one that officially reported him missing. And I'll, I'll, I'll give a quick recap here. You know, the, the, the story that the statement that she gave was that, you know, they've been driving around doing whatever that day. And by time it hit, they arrived to this abandoned house, you know, they entered it and for whatever reason, you know, she was heard something or something occurred for Josh to take off into the woods. Um, it wasn't until later on in that evening, you know, they hadn't heard a word from Josh. Nothing was coming out of it. Uh, the sense of urgency just really caused the Josh's family, his aunt and his brother to officially report him missing. And I think that's where people might be getting confused. Um, which is fine. You know, I've made mistakes. But I will also say for the life of me, for as vocal as Josh's family has been being, I can't understand how, how, and details matter. Um, and, you know, you put it out there and it's not right. I'll be the first to admit I have, as much as I think I know things, you know, I've gotten something wrong. And when it's brought to my attention, I make a, a very, very clear effort to go back and fix that. And what I'm seeing um, is, you know, if you get something wrong, uh, you don't delete the comments and you don't block people from your page. You listen to them and you fix it, especially with situations like this, because the devil are really in the details. You know, however this plays out, those details and in many cases, I feel like, okay, this is out here being put out wrong, you know, and it, especially if that mistakes comes from within the investigation then you have a duty to put that correct information out there and stop, you know, this is how hearsay and misinformation gets put out there. So instead of deleting comments and blocking people from your page, you should be fixing those and people will respect you a lot more for that. I feel that's just mine. So white County could be very, you know, I just want to show the, you know, commended. Um, you can go, like I said, go back and listen to the interview. Um, and you'll get a lot of details. Uh, we don't know specifically where he, where Josh was found. That has not been put out publicly that I've seen. I will continue to update everybody. Um, you know, in, in, in a very, you know, finding out that, you know, Josh was allegedly seen last in Burgess Falls and he had been found in Windows Cliff and it's in, you know, close proximity. And, you know, it just begs the question, you know, could her account ring true? Um, and if you're looking on the out, you know, the outside of the picture, very much, you know, he, and I don't think even the family ever disputed that at first, that maybe he did get spooked and, and head off to the, to the woods, you know, where they're, where they're, I think they're divided at in that, um, that he had plenty of family that lived in close proximity also. So is there a possibility that he would have went in there and kind of waited out and waited for the coast to clear? Sure. They never, I've never heard them dispute that once. Uh, where they dispute is instead of going that deep, he had plenty of other places that he could have turned to. And that's the type of family that he had. Um, and that's, and you know, that's very important things that, that should be noted. Um, but if it comes out, you know, that it, her account does ring, um, then I hope that everybody can be accepting of that. You know, that's why I haven't gone too hard on, on, on his wife, but, um, I do firmly believe that the things that, you know, afterwards, just like I said, the sense of urgency, just for me, from what I've seen on the outside here, uh, there is just no sense of urgency coming from his wife. In fact, I feel that after this, she did just, she tried to distance herself 
And again, that could be because by then people were coming after her. We just don't know. So that's why it is just really important that, you know, we see what these reports bring back. And uh, yeah, he, yeah, because of his, in that, that, Tammy, those are very good things. Um, he couldn't walk that far at all due to his condition. And so, like I said, I think that them knowing Josh, them knowing him, and that's why I chose to run the page that, my page and my channel the way I do is because if we're not going to listen to anybody, you know, these people right here are the people that we should be listening to. And the people that are supposed to be helping figuring out should, should um, be listening to them too and making sure that those, those details are, are correct. Um, so I will be updating. I will be making sure. Um, and like I said, you know, she, she could have the sense of urgency. She could have had her reasons. Um, so that's why, but I prompt, you know, if things come to light that, uh, her, her statement that she made rings true, I promise I will put that out, um, and, and let everybody know and update as we go. We just don't know a lot. And I think right now we just need to, I have it on the page, Tammy, let me, if anybody is in there, I know my, the person I had take the video, um, she might be in here. She might not. But I will post that, how, how far of a distance that was. Um, I know I mapped it out on the page too. So I, I will I will post that and uh, see what we can get out of that. Because, yeah, I mean, I think they, they, they searched an area radius about 10 miles. And then, you know, they, that's where that came from. Though. Well, he wouldn't have been able to walk that far. So I think that, you know, them knowing them, their questions are very credible to say the least. And, you know, I hope that now that Josh is home, maybe not in the way that, you know, everybody hoped for, but now that he's here, um, I hope and pray that he can still speak on, um, and we get to the bottom of it. So, yeah, I just wanted to make it clear, you know, the details are important. And if I see the family saying one thing and them saying another and, you know, especially if I've had them on here myself, you know, I, I tend to pop on here and say, well, no, you know, this is right. The, the more correct information that we stick to, uh, and they should be trying to help clear that up, not, not censoring it. So yeah, I posted, um, uh, <laughs> I posted the video that you uploaded on my, on my page. Just to give everybody, there's not, you know, I'm not from up around there. So it, I just wanted to give everybody a, you know, a clear view of, of what, what, what was working or what he was working with in the conditions. And again, this was June, um, of 20, uh, 2021. So it was summer and, um, so it, I just wanted to give everybody a clear view and the more people have a picture you know, and like I said, I, I hope that when the reports come back, it, it sheds some light. And in the meantime, I think that right now we just, we just need to be there for them and support them no matter what they felt in their heart. It's a different thing when it's confirmed. I can, I can assure you on that. And I'm sure, like I said, they're going through a phase of, it's just not surreal. And we all know how you know, your heart knows and your mind, knows. it just, it may take a minute for it to line up. So at least until we get these reports back, I think that's, you know, they deserve that much after, after the fight that they've gotten given to bring them home, bring him home. Cause, um, depending on what those reports show, it's, it's going to be a whole new fight. Um, there's a possibility of it, you know, and, uh, I hope that everybody stands behind them the same way that they have been standing behind them. It's not over yet. So just show them lots of love and support them. I posted their group on my page and I'll drop it in the link here or in the chat here real quick. Just show them lots of love, lots of support. They're going to have some tough times um, with the funeral. They, they have a lot of 
of other things that they're going to be going through right now. And uh, my heart just goes out, out to them. I think everybody was counting on, on, uh, and hoping and praying that what they felt in their heart wasn't, wasn't true. There we go. I'm going to drop his group in here. So if anybody wants to help support them and, and show them some love, um, you can join that group. That's family, family ran and, and, supported so that'd be the best place to go to show them some love um I, that is all i have for you guys uh, if you guys have any questions you know i will i will take them and keep them in mind but um that's what i do i usually i stick around and i wait for them high chasing yeah mine is i i keep telling everybody you know i knew that they were very vocal in the fact that they might he may not be here but I think we can all understand that getting that news is is still um it uh, it hit them. I can I can guarantee that. And so the you know we have some we have some waiting time to see where this is going to go. And I think we should use that time to just really support them and show them some love and let them know no matter where it goes. You know we're not we're not going anywhere just because he's home. We'll be there wherever it goes. So yeah, I'm. I'm happy that, that they know. And I, you know, I, I, I said that the, who on the phone the other day and said, Vicky, I just, I don't want to say this, but part of me hopes that it is him because I can't imagine him being out there and being okay. And, and if he is, he can't. So, I mean, and then part of me, like I said, hopes that he isn't, but it's, and I, I'm, I'm sure of anybody, they, they feel that times a thousand. So, Let's just think of them right now and because uh, we don't know anything for sure yet. So let's just remember that regard. They, they lost somebody they loved. And uh, yeah, and uh, we'll try to keep everything as, as close to uh, the right information as we can. Um, so you guys, until next time, and I have something else for you guys. Uh, it's Ash with TC Spotlight. And if anybody out there close to Josh, so I am very, very sorry for you guys.